So, so far we have discussed uh, what are inverse trigonometric functions. But we have seen the differentiation of all the functions, uh, trigonometric as well as logarithmic exponential functions, but these functions. So, let's see how do we find the differentiation of this inverse trigonometric functions. So, first of all, let's start with sin inverse x. So, if y is equal to sin inverse x, you can see that from inverse trigonometry, if you remember inverse trigonometry, you can write x as x is equal to sine of y. So you can write this term y is equal to sine inverse x like this. Okay. Now if you differentiate this function x with respect to y, because you can see that this x is a function of y. So if you differentiate this with respect to y, you will get dx upon dy. And this is equal to we know that our differentiation of sine y is equal to cos y. So, this will become cos y. Now, since we want to calculate the value of dy upon dx, we are given y in the terms of x and want to calculate dy upon dx. But from here, we got the value of dx upon dy. So, if we calculate the inverse of this, reciprocal of this, dy, x upon dy, I will get the value of dy upon dx. So, from here, we can say that so this is a procedure we follow. First of all, we convert it into trigonometric function. This invert trigonometric function into trigonometric function. This is x is equal to sine y. Now we differentiate this function. Then we find the differentiation of y with respect to x. This will be equal to dy upon dx is equal to 1 upon cos y. Right. So dy upon dx is equal to 1 upon cos y. Now since this was a function y in the terms of x, so this differentiation should also be in the function of x only. But this here is a function of y. This is 1 upon cos y. So we have to convert this into sine or x. Okay. So first of all, you will convert it into x. How will you convert it into x? You can write this as 1 minus sine square y. And we know that sine square y is x. So you can put it as 1 minus x square. So just see the procedure once again. What we did is, first of all we wrote this inverse trigonometric into trigonometric function, then we differentiated it, then we calculated the reciprocal of this differentiation that will give you dy upon dx and then convert this y into x because this y is a function of x. So you want this differentiation is as a function of x only, not a function of y. So this will be equal to under root 1 minus x square. So we will write all the things we are deriving over here. So we can say that if y is equal to sine inverse x then dy upon dx will be equal to or we can write like this only. This is a function fx and this is f dash x. So if we have sine inverse x in that case f dash x will be equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Okay, so this you need to remember. This is the first one of the list. Let's move on to the next one, which is cos inverse x. Now, guys, you know that an important property will be used here. Now, we know that sine inverse x plus cos inverse x that is equal to pi by 2. We know this thing, therefore, I can write this as pi by 2 minus sine inverse x. Just pay attention here, you must have learned this in inverse trigonometry. So cos inverse x can be written as pi by 2 minus sin inverse x, right? So dy by dx in this case will be equal to, now the differentiation of this function. So we can see that the differentiation of pi by 2 is nothing but 0. And the derivative of sin inverse x we have already calculated. So the derivative of sin inverse x is nothing but 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. So therefore, I can write this as 0 minus and the derivative of sin inverse x and this will be equal to we know that the derivative of sin inverse x is 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. So this will be the differentiation of cos inverse x. So you can just see that in the differentiation of sin inverse and cos inverse the only difference is of the sign. In the case of sin inverse we have plus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square and in the case of cos inverse x we have minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. So 
let's see the next one so next we'll move on to the third one which is y is equal to tan inverse x now just remember the concept remember the procedure of finding dy by dx the first step will be convert it into trigonometric function so x will be equal to tan y now we know that if x is equal to tan y dx upon dy can we calculate that yes now x is a function of y so we can differentiate this x with respect to y so therefore dx upon dy in this case will be equal to 6 square y or secant square y now we want to calculate dy by dx from here so dy by dx will be equal to 1 upon secant square y now guys see now again this dy by dx is in the term of y is in the terms of y we want to calculate this in the terms of x only so you will convert this six, secant square y into tan square y okay so that i'll get a factor of x here right so how will we do that we know the property secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so i can write this as 1 plus tan square y now we know that tan square y is equal to x so this will be written as 1 upon 1 plus x square so just write it down that the differentiation of tan inverse x will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square so we have calculated the differentiation of these three inverse trigonometric function let's move on to the next ones now the fourth one will be similar now we just need to calculate the differentiation of these three sin inverse tan inverse and cosec inverse of sec inverse the other ones the other three will come parallelly let's see how now we know that cot inverse x y is equal to cot inverse x this can be written as pi by 2 minus tan inverse x right now if we differentiate this we will get dy upon dx is equal to differentiation of pi by 2 which is 0 minus 1 upon x square 1 plus x square so therefore i'll get the differentiation of cot inverse x is equal to minus 1 upon 1 plus x square so that's how we calculate the differentiation of inverse trigonometric function so let's follow the same procedure to calculate the differentiation of sec inverse and cosec inverse as well so let's see the fifth one y is equal to sec inverse x so this is the first step okay so this is the first step the second step will be calculate x in terms of y so x is equal to secant y third step is dx upon dy is equal to now do you remember the differentiation of secant y now the differentiation of secant y was sec y tan y so this is a differentiation of x with respect to y which is the differentiation of secant y now we can write this as the reciprocal dy upon dx this will be equal to 1 upon secant y tan y now secant y can be substituted as x now if secant y is equal to x we can see that tan y will be equal to x square minus 1 under root okay because tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1 right so tan y can be written like this therefore the differentiation dy upon dx will be equal to 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 so this is the whole procedure how to calculate the differentiation now this will be the differentiation of secant inverse x which is equal to 1 upon x under root x square minus 1 right so that's how we calculate the differentiation of secant inverse x let's follow the same procedure to calculate the differentiation of cosecant square cosecant inverse x now y is equal to cosecant inverse x so the first step will be convert it into
trigonometric function. So, converting it into trigonometric function, I will get x is equal to cosecant y. Cosecant y differentiate dx upon dy will be equal to minus of cosecant y cot y. And from here you will get dy upon dx is equal to 1 upon or minus 1 upon cosecant y cot y because these two are reciprocal so I can write like this now the same procedure if x is equal to cosecant y then cot y will be equal to under root x square minus 1 so because of this result I can substitute the value of cot y as under root x square minus 1 so the last one in the list is cosecant inverse x and this can be written as minus 1 upon x x square minus 1 so that's how we calculate the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions now let's see some questions on this one just understand the concept that you just need to remember the differentiation of sine inverse tan inverse and second inverse x right the differentiation of the rest one okay the sine inverse and cos inverse are just differing in the signs so if there is plus one here this will be minus one similar in the case of tan inverse x and cot inverse x plus one upon one plus x square this is minus one upon one plus x square similarly in the case of secant and cosecant so you can form three pairs which only differ in signs only right so these three pairs have the exact same differentiation but they only differ in the signs so let's do one question now guys I will use composite functions as well as the, the, this differentiation in this question so pay, pay attention here so the question is find the differentiation of y is equal to sine inverse e to the power x so this is a function y is equal to sine inverse e to the power x you have to differentiate it with respect to x now guys see dy by dx I told you whenever we have to calculate the differentiation of a composite function we always follow the chain rule or the outside to inside rule now the outside to inside rule says that you first have to differentiate the outside function now outside function is sine inverse okay so first you have to differentiate sine inverse theta so the differentiation will be equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus e to the power x whole square so this will be the differentiation of sine inverse e to the power x now e to the power x will be taken as some variable let's say theta here so sine inverse theta or sine inverse x the differentiation will be 1 upon under root 1 minus theta square or 1 upon under root 1 minus x square whatever it's there now since this is e to the power x so first I have to write the differentiation in terms of e to the power x only and then I have to multiply this differentiation this result with e to the power x differentiation now the differentiation of e to the power x we know that it remains same so the result will be 1 upon e to the power 2x under root multiplied by e to the power x so this will be the final result which I am getting so let's see one more question the other one is let's find in terms of tan inverse x so find out the differentiation of tan inverse x to the power 3 so you have to calculate the differentiation of tan inverse x to the power 3 you know that the differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus x square right so can we write that differentiation of tan inverse x cube will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus x to the power 6 that's it no right first of all we have to apply the outside to inside or the chain rule so first we will differentiate tan inverse y okay or we can go by the whole method we can substitute this x cube as t so this will become y is equal to tan inverse of t right now dy upon dx will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus t square multiplied by dt upon dx so this is the whole procedure which we follow first of all we differentiate this tan inverse t and then we differentiate the inside function which is t 
so this will be dt upon dx so this will become 1 upon 1 plus now t square will be equal to x to the power 6 because t is equal to x cube so this will become x to the power 6 multiplied by the differentiation of t with respect to x now the differentiation of x cube with respect to x will be equal to 3x square so this will become 3x square so the answer is 3x square divided by 1 plus x to the power 6 dot so this is the final answer so that's how we calculate the differentiation of inverse trigonometric function and I told you how to solve the questions when a, f a function is the given function is a composite function of inverse trigonometric as well as some other function logarithmic exponential or algebraic function that's how you will solve them so that's all about differentiation of inverse trigonometric function thank you